you know, I thought he was terrific. You know, he four pitch walk to start the game. Benintendi smokes the ball off him for an out. Then uh, JD gets the hit, and he he just pitched. You know, he pitched his way out of that and, and got out of trouble. Um, you know, the changeup was such an important pitch for him, especially early and especially in those first couple innings where, you know, when he was struggling a little bit to get locked in. He was able to get back in the count with some change-ups behind in the count. And then I thought as the night unfolded, his fastball got better. The slider was good. The shape of the slider, um, you know, which we've really been watching here, you know, the last several starts where I thought it was a lot better in Minnesota. That I thought that shape of the slider got better as the night went on. And then, uh, you know, he, he kind of kept smelling it and found, got into a really good groove and, um, a, a really exciting outing for him. His second half of the season has been up and down, as we know. Did you need to see this from him at this point in time in the season to have confidence? Well, well I don't know it necessarily needs the right word. I mean, we need to play well, and, and he's a big part of that. So um, it's just good to see him go out and pitch the way he's capable of because uh, I think everyone in this room understands when he's on top of his game, he's special. So to have him go out and pitch the way he did, um, you know, to see the confidence build as the night un un continued to unfold, um, I just r really excited for him, and, and hopefully, uh, you know, he can – take off from there and and be the guy we know he can be it's just two games but obviously the red sox are in the lead of the division or likely going to win the division is there a different feel in that clubhouse with what this team has been able to do the last two games well it's nice to you know get a couple we've been so up and down here these last couple of weeks where it feels like you know maybe this game will get us to take off a little bit and then we kind of fall back look you know when you play the red sox you got to be at your best um because they can beat you in so many different ways. So to come out and play this way, win a close one last night, and then kind of pull away from them tonight, um, you know, definitely feels good. You can feel the energy in the crowd, um, and hopefully it's something that we can continue to to build on and, and again, get, get it rolling here, um, you know, as we get down to the end. Billy. How, how do you balance the or assess when you're you know like you say you're kind of looking at guys for how they're going to fit in with the playoffs, with you know his uh, you know the resolve that he showed to kind of figure things out when he didn't have command of his fastball early, but also you know the, like you said that first inning that could have gone sideways, you know in a hurry. So how do you you know I guess assess you know the hole there? Well. I mean, he pitched well. I, I don't know what you mean necessarily by um, assess for. Uh, right. Right. I mean, look, we're we're gonna if we're gonna get to where we want to go, all three of those guys you just mentioned are gonna play a huge role. Um, you know, how do we choose for a particular start as we get to the postseason and. I mean, it just there's varying things that can happen over the next 10 days schedule wise, what our needs are the final few days of the season, um, you know, who we're matching up against, you know, all those things will kind of get baked into the cake and, and we'll make the best decision possible. And, um, you know, we feel like we have some really good decisions when all those guys are pitching well. Um, that, that's kind of all I can tell you as we sit here now. Kevin to the left. Uh, what does the Luke Voigt experience say about the game of baseball? What this guy's come in and done and how he's oh. helped you? Um, I mean, he's... <laughs> again, I give our front office a lot of credit for identifying him as someone they really felt like um, maybe undervalued is not the right word, but but believe that you know, all the underlying things suggested this guy could be um, a really good hitter. And, and you know, we kind of had a need, obviously, especially when we were beat up. And he came over here and um, has been a spark um, just from what he brings every day. But then, obviously, the great production he's provided, it's been huge for us. And, and he's played his way into a prominent role for our team. And, you know, that's he's earned that. Do you have a favorite mannerism of his? You know, like, 
the different things that he does, including. You know what? I like when he hits a big homer and, you know, whatever antics he's got going around the bases. I, I like to see our guys react to him and try and imitate what he's doing, you know, as his, you know, buttons are flying off and he's i like i like when he does well and and to heart he just continues to roll i mean there's nothing yeah. surprising yeah really good at bats tonight um um you know t two more balls that he hit you know obviously the homer and the double but then two more balls that he hit pretty well and um they made a great play on him in left field so yeah i mean he's Again, he, what more can you say? He's been such a good player for us, and um, to see him continue to do it, to see him do it, you know, right now when we need it, to see him, you know, it, it, we've seen him get so many big hits in situations tonight, the homer to kind of get us rolling, and then um, the, the, the offense kind of picked it up from there. Andy in the back. Uh, pinch hitting for Judge just about the score. Get him right. Is he okay? Yeah. Yeah, it was just trying to get some guys out of there, trying – you know, I, I almost got him out of there um, the last couple innings last night. Just, you know, trying to steal an inning or two here when I can for, for different guys. And Judge, obviously, with him coming back, more, almost more about the legs even, too, just trying to build them up. We'll take a last one, and then we'll bring Seve in to the right, back right. Aaron, what does it say that you guys tied the franchise home run record for a season, but that it was two home runs from Luke Voigt and Miguel Ann Duhar. Just looking back to the start of the season to now be in this position, what does that say about the way this offense has gone this year? Yeah, uh, we, you know, we have got it from a lot of different people. Obviously, we've needed that, um, you know, with Miggy kind of kicking in the door and taking that job early in the season and running with it, the role he's played, and then Voigt, um, you know, you would have said a couple months ago that he'd be playing this kind of role and hitting for this kind of power with us. I don't think anyone saw that coming. So um, just glad that we were able to get him and, and, and the fact that he's playing an important role in our lineup has been big.